Hello, Hi. everybody. Welcome Adoy. back. Ha. Adoy. I always thought Adoy. I always thought he was good. The chant was an annoying cunt. Like, listen for a sec. You know? Yeah, but that's kind of in the same way you, you could do like the, how everyone had. Yeah, their this own is like noise it's like Mortal Barkerville. Kombat. Yeah. Like, you know how some people would be like, Santa Monica, or da, da, da. like, everyone had their own noise for Raiden. And then they're like, but it's totally that. And you'd listen, you're like, it could totally be any of those things. Yeah, it's any of those things. Yeah, yeah. It's Barkerville. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy. Two, uh, I almost said 15. 10. Pajana Maid presents. Woo! 15. How's it going, Noctis? Chilling in the car. I mean, we're about to get I, into I a car. I actually think he, that, 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 that would improve yes. this game. Go, if there was go, a car go. where we could put on a soundtrack of all the Final Fantasy Three songs. Month. Yeah. But, so I mean, one of my favorite things to do is try to figure out what different letters are in these things based off of what's left there. Oh, so I think that was everyone on board. Everyone's We're in a quintet here? Okay. Where's Rachel? We're on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. No, this is totally look, this totally looks friend, like the thing eh? that Thor's in in the Infinity War trailer, which is spoiler alert. That's a quintet. I, I know you haven't seen Ragnarok. But... I, I didn't know anything about no, what the summoner is supposed to do. This is the way the bridge looks. Oh. Like with the window yeah, and you sit at the front. Things, I think you're gonna like sit in this scene. I've gotta tell her. I've gotta tell her I'm sorry. Well, she's also That's been it? kidnapped, so you're we gotta find her for that reason, sorry. not just to tell her you're sorry. Yeah. And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? Yeah. You're all huh? The same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. Shit! Boom! No! I trained with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Steve just ah, no sold words. that. Show me action. No, he didn't. He fell. I'm no selling would be he just up. like he got back up. up immediately. He fucking. It's a hip toss. Everyone gets up from a hip toss. Boy, don't forget oh, those what, words. What? Kratos? Because if you do, <laughs> he's bald. <laughs> boy, <laughs> get in there and fly the ship, boy. Boy. I need you to read I, this I shit. I love the way he delivers that boy line, though. It's great. It's so good. The game's really good. Chris and I did the showcase for that last so night. So you know where she is? Did he like it? Oh, yeah. Of course not. That's why we're Spoilers going for that video we put up a month ago. Do we ago. know where she Using is? That's a great airship. question. Hold on. Let's use this. Yeah. Airship? Yeah, you guys just got on this thing without even paying attention? Yeah, walk looking at your surroundings at Make all? Cool. Father. Here we go. Fire up go, the Quinjet. We got, we got, yeah, this is totally a Quinjet. Wait, what? This isn't just a regular airship. This is a time traveling airship. Of course. No, it is. I, I think he said. Shit! So this is, welcome to this Tatooine. Is a, yeah, well, we already we that. said that before. Yeah, we yeah. did that bit already. Um, I think that he was saying this is the first time this thing's flown in a thousand years. Oh. I think, but obviously. See, that's the thing, that's a red herring, because you, you have a character who's from a thousand years in the past, so if you were to tell me we piled this ship to go in the past and fix the events we did before, I would not, I, that would, yeah, that would be in line. I mean, that could happen too, that right? would, I don't know. That would be anime. Ooh, Time travel? No. Ah, ah. Right, this Sid is pretty great, even if I Sid? can't understand what he's saying. Yeah, I like Sid. Of course it's an airship. Yeah, it's a Final Fantasy game. They all have airships. And this one looks rad yeah. as shit. It's got a compass on the back. Yeah. Later, uh, random dragon creatures. Yeah. Do you recognize it at all? What, the airship? No. Yeah. Okay. Should I? I not really. Okay. Freda Joe. Freda Joe. Yeah. That I agree. -U -E. No -bo -me -no. Oh, they're doing the, the fucking chant. Why? Ah, uh, you'll see. Guys, what are you doing? This guy, not as important to the plot. You can tell by the fact that the, he's not rendered as well. The Miz? <laughs> yeah, kind of. The goggles, anyway. Yeah, and the hair, even. Because they're just like singing. This, also, this beat is the Final Fantasy beat. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? We're, we're gonna blow up our home. How? With explosives. With one of the forbidden machina. Oh, we get my, one of my favorite tracks in this game. 
It, it's played before, but the hurt it's called a furry, and it's one of my favorites. Weird, they blew it up with explosives. But it's forbidden, Ryan. Yeah, I know, but Lulu, what? We're gonna go to this destination. How? I'm gonna fly there on the flying ship, idiot. Yeah, yeah. Also, she's, she's mi I don't. Position. Holy shit! I don't think that the amount of missiles that we put in there. Yeah. Should have done you that. Donald Trump, that thing. Like my goodness. Donald Trump it. American military shoot, shoot bombs at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blew it up. And then laughed about it. Sid, Sid, yeah, Sid, door. Sid, just no we selling. We our whole town. <laughs> well, I think they've evacuated. They're they're killing yeah, all. Yeah, there's the only seven of them. Guado and Fiends. left. Ah, uh, the Guados have killed them all. Well, however, however many could fit on this ship, which isn't that many by the looks of the size of it. Unless their population is only like fifty. Don't get so down. Oh no! Don't get so down. Happy festival fireworks, yeah? No, no, no. Big meanie. Yeah. Okay. You have to let her pout on this one, right? Her house just blew up, and Waka's like, "Woo!" Like, let's I mean, give her. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, we'll give that her that pout. Okay. That would be the time to try to cheer someone up. Also, I'm gonna say it. There should not. Listen. You, when you blow up a place with rockets, the response should not be it's like a festival or fireworks because you are blowing a place to smithereens. This is yeah. tough on all I think that Sid's like, reaction if you was assume all the people human? you know evacuated, you have no idea what got killed in that. You see the size of that explosion? Yeah. There's going to be there's consequences. Yeah. I think that Sid's reaction Sid. was Maybe normal. That was it. Maybe they just needed like, to do that since done. We solved the game. We'll game hide over. Their grief. Yeah, I mean we could no, probably kill Sid with this fucking so ship, let's be She's honest. Well, we've already killed Sin, so I think now we just need to take this ship and go somewhere else. We're going to go to Final Fantasy 15. We're going to find Noctis. When did we kill I don't know how it works either, so don't I, just, I was joking that the, the catch was the explosions that we Oh, so it was, it was in the explosion? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even rightly know how this rig flies, either. What? How did you guys all just boot it up first try? We're running around in the dark here. I like his redneck voice. You haven't taboo yeah. on Machina? I didn't realize JR did the voice on this. He, he needs an eye patch, though. Come on, bud. The sky in this. A Machina. You doing okay, kiddo? I love how he's so it's panicked about this Machina, yet he just ran on willy-nilly with you without a moment's, like, just comes on. Remember this ship? And then, right. then he panics. The That's how you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, that, we know how it, how it works. If it, anything breaks, you just punch it six times and it'll turn back oh, on. Oh, yeah, this is the magic ship where she just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was draining the... We can it's... fix it. Yes, we can. I don't think we did that. Can bit. you find fixing tool? We found fixing tool. Orin! What's up? What's up, Orin? Whether Yuna's safe or not, there's trouble brewing. What gave you the idea? The fact that someone's kidnapped, the fact that we just blew up a home, the fact that Sin's chasing us and we don't have a way to complete the pilgrimage. Never forget the Albed sacrifice. The fact that half the Albed are dead, hey, the fact I'm that Guado invaded. To my like, brother well, I don't know, Orin. There's a lot of things that are saying trouble's brewing, but if I guess that's the nuanced take. You didn't know that. The trouble was brewing, Kyle. Let's think of one. Yeah. Steve. Easier yeah. said than done. Yeah, Steve. No one's ever if thought about it in a thousand in years. World, yeah, we'd think yep. of something. And while we were thinking, sin would kill us all. But you have time to think Spirit right now. Doesn't have that time. Well, I think they are, but they're also just kind of dealing with their shit. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's deep in thought. I'll bet. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die. Especially because he'll die. As a child. My will is set. Okay, yeah, Ryan, like the Albed are kind of doing do some, do doing some weird, else. like, Must you can't do that it. even though you want to. Like, that thing. Like, hey, we get well, it's, it. It's, it's a like sacrifice. A but the summoners, thing, are like, right? the summoners are like, listen, Albed, you Ryan, can't tell us Rin we can't make this sacrifice. Well. Hey, Rin. It appears you too have escaped Hob. I fucking love we Rin. Did. You were on the ship too? I came Everyone's here. to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. Uh-huh. Thankfully, my goods were spared. Yeah. Please my let boy. me know if you need any of my wares. We do. We need all of the wares. How do we wear big, awesome cargo pants or bell-bottom pants like you? The MC Hammer, Steve. Oh, I know you can't change the way you look. I know you can't get rid of your Sora outfit and frickin' Christ. Oh, finally. Okay. That's the one thing in these games that I think is the most missing. Although, I think they changed that in Final Fantasy XV, right? I'm pretty sure that you can change cosmetics. 
Uh, or sorry, when you change armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you change armor, it changes the way you look. No, you had different outfit options, right? Where you could do the... Or, um, yeah, sorry, you had outfit options. Yeah, whatever. As long as there's a cosmetic option. Well, there needs it was to be all the to... same, but it was like, yo, you can do, like, heavy, like, with no, your jacket on you, but you, you, Thank you. But, but you, you unlock stuff later. Oh, I don't think... So. I can't remember. Yeah, I saw a later playthrough where they had other other outfits. Okay. Plus, I saw Rory playing some of it where it was like you get lots of custom. He Rory he, Rory did one where he was dressed like Gordon Freeman. That's a uh, giant bombs, Matt Rory. I thought that might have been a mod. Yes. No, that was uh, that's a tie-in. Oh, okay. It turns out Square's doing a lot of tie-ins now. If you didn't know, all their games are like like they did that one with Assassin's Creed. Um, oh, where yes. Noctis's sword and, and a chocobo camel and stuff were in Assassin's Creed. Okay, I, I mean, that like just a, sounds great. Vice versa, yeah. And there was a vice versa Assassin's Creed stuff in Final Fantasy XV as well. Where anyway, I, uh, I like this up at Chip. Uh, yeah, it's rad as fuck. Do 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 do. Look, hey, what's I'm up? really tired. Leave Donna? Me. Where the fuck is that? But we got, but we got Eric over here. We're gonna go head out to the, the fire hydrant and smoke a joint. That 70s show they reference? No, they didn't go to the fire hydrant. They go to the water tower. Uh, that's Wait, what it was. They also would sit in Eric's something basement. I want to ask you. That's true. But I'm just like, whenever they would leave, they would usually be hanging out at the water tower what because that was like the only other yeah, set that they like had. Yeah, or like that, 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 um, that place that Tommy the Tommy Shaw's worked, or like at the fucking... Or, yeah, or, the, or the, the place they eat, yeah. Or yeah. school, I guess. You'd occasionally see school, but not often. But that wasn't the point of the show. I haven't seen enough of that show. I, I used to watch that show. I should watch it all. Andrew did. He said it was okay. Everyone did. He said it was okay. Oh, she wants to quit. Why is that? I mean, if she Behind wants to quit, we should let her. Would say I was abandoning yeah. my duty. So who cares? <laughs> Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? I gotta say, like Steve's like real dumb sometimes, He's but occasionally he says shit that, that makes that's a lot accurate. of sense. Like that's the thing. Like if it's not, it's not uh, necessarily bad that they have a negative opinion of you abandoning the post, Donna. It's away. just that that negative opinion shouldn't influence your decision. Right? Yeah. Like, Steve covered that. It's, well, it's just like it's okay for you to abandon their post, and it's okay for them to disagree with it. Like that's fine. It's all, those, those are all things. Yeah. It's just yeah. Like, why are they pissed at you? Is it because we really want you to do the thing? Like, fuck off. If it's you, just you know, <clears throat> if your post well, is, I can totally, I I can you totally to... understand why they're pissed at you because they. It's like it's like it's like yeah, someone. Okay, let's say you you. Yeah, but let's say you enroll in the military, right? Yeah, yeah. Before you enroll in the military, there's this whole procedure where they go, "Are you 100% sure you want to do this?" Yeah, you say so yes. They don't really. You do enroll that in the military, else. you're at battle, and you're like, "Shit, I don't want to do this." I'm not saying that you shouldn't be allowed to leave, but they're allowed to get pissed. You just wasted all their time. They asked you if you wanted. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to. They're, they let you know up front that you might not want to do this. Like right? They were trying to. That, but that's just a hazard for them too, right? That's a hazard of the job of, of dangerous jobs. I could totally understand a summoner not wanting to do it when the end result is an, a, a life-ending sacrifice. Oh, this is the Blitzball team. But I can also understand some other summoners being like, we told you that in advance, What do you, you know what I mean? Like, you kind of just are putting us in a, a pickle here. Yeah, I, I might not necessarily be like, hey, you, you can't abandon you your post. Of course they can, but oh, okay. I'd still be a little disappointed in the You forward. want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course. Yes. The, the, you're doing that against this her will. Pilgrimage, she will die. Yeah. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No hairbrain no, law though. or That's teaching not as the same thing, my though. little niece to her death. When I save oh, so her, I'll make he her give his up niece, being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even How? What do you see, Elder? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree! Sid, I liked you to start, but now you're like, fuck this. You are the captain. I'm right. Good. Then it's he, Sid is Red Knock Alberton over here. Joe Alberta. Yeah, he's pretty much. I don't give a shit if she wants to sacrifice her life. That's not her decision to make. I'm her uncle. Step uncle. First, we rescue you and uncle. Let's show him what we got. Well, half uncle. She's no, less, that, was, less... that was her mother's. Remember, her, mo her mother was full all that. That's why she's happy. Oh, right. Sid is yeah, her yeah, yeah. actual uncle. That was her mother's brother. Yes. So he's probably. So what you're telling me is Sid probably was bitching and raging that the Albed sister of his married or slept with a. No, it was the, the rest of the. Like, it was a, the other side of things. It was an issue. Sid didn't really have a. I don't think Sid's. Side Sid ran for Fort Yuna. I think that's Father Trana. We Found Yuna. Where? Elfin Krufwe. Yeah, so we don't know Yuna's father then, right? We've never met her. Yuna! Him, sorry. Yuna's yeah. father was Braska. 
Oh, it was Brad. Okay. Yeah. So who, who was the Albed then? Was that? It was the mother. Yeah. You said the mother was Albed, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's his sister. Yeah. It's also, hey, Ryan. Oh my God! I knew it. I called it. Hundred <laughs> percent. I was like, it. are you gonna no sell this? Like, it was your oh, guess. Oh God! <laughs> you were in totally the right. Every, down to the dresses and everything. Saint Bavel, heart of yep. heaven. How did we you, see that just Gramps, now? Let's move. Uh, Gramps. Easy. Gramps. We got a Gramps. Of the course. defenses are top notch. What's the matter? Yeah. Have, don't scared? you guys know that they got crazy defenses for weddings? Is there, so we go and get well, this her. is a pretty, this is a pretty high-profile wedding, right? Like, this is the royal wedding, almost. And that's all. Of course, yeah. I also, mean, Steve's geez, just no selling. Want, He's like, what I don't do care how many guys have to go or Mike through. Ross running in on this wedding. Come on. <laughs> because it's Meghan Markle. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? I mean, it would be Mike Ross in that situation to do it. Well, yes, that's Harvey back him up. The Bavel. prince is stealing his girl. He's a Mr. Pr the prince is Mr. Stealing. <laughs> excuse girl. me, Mr. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, Prince Harry. Uh, or no, they, they go to you. It's like, do you have any case against this? And they're like, nope, we, we yeah. don't have anything. Here, and then here, they're like, Mike, she determines you, who she goes with based on who out debates the other in a legal no, no. battle. They, they go, they do the legal battle, and they're they're getting stomped on. And then like at the last second at the altar, because it's the court, the court is happening at the altar, and fucking Lewis runs in with some mad litigation about how she can't marry the, the oh, prince. Man. Turns to Queen Elizabeth and goes, "You just got lit up." And Walks out. So yes. <laughs> <Man. laughs> Alright. You're awfully calm about it. That'd be oh, great. Cool. If that show was attack. exceptionally self aware, it would do that. It would literally make her get married to a prince character and have him interrupted. That would be the best thing they could do. Oh, Riku! Fucking stepping on your father's toes. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, look at this shit. Pops. Y yes. If you crash you got, the ship, okay, the double you negative here. You, you guys are rallying against the summoners for life-ending sacrifices, but you're perfectly okay to go down with the ship, even yeah. though your Let's action go. saves no lives and her no, action no, no, gets no. rid of Sid. Hey. No, Riku was making fun logic. of her dad. That was, Riku. That was, Sid, that was yeah, Sid's idea, friend. yeah. And then Riku was like, idiot, we're not doing but, that shit. But 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 the point is is that that's Sid's idea, but Sid's trying to prevent the summoner from doing the same thing. Actually, the better version of that. Because even though Yunus might not get rid of Sin forever, there is a direct result to the summoner sacrificing themselves to peace. Whereas in this situation, if we go down with the ship, we all just die. Yeah. Nothing happens. Um, Sid is not what I'm smart gathering man. is it has nothing to do with the fact that the Yuna wants to sacrifice their life, and all to do with the fact that Sid's not in control, which is what he's really concerned about. Oh shit! <laughs> I was gonna say we got Ryan doing a fucking psyche val again. I'm just saying that's what it seems like thus far. Oh, Ryan, you need to see this ability. It's the greatest thing in the universe. Out of Kamari. Here we go, fire on fire. Well, oh, they fired you. I was like, what? It's like, why would you fire them? Uh, the I wouldn't. Would them? That would You're be, fired. That would be a terrible plan <laughs> if I did that. Um, but. Oh, you're gonna ice them. I mean, that would make sense. I'm gonna ice They're these They're growing fools. bigger. Yeah, yeah, they, after three, they explode and they do a bunch of damage. Yeah, I know, they're bombs. While I'm here, I may as well steal those. Debrip, um, debrip. They're bombs. they even give you bomb cores. When you steal from them, self-destruct on the bomb. Does he kill himself? <laughs> yeah, he does. Kamari wasn't listening to Sid at all. We're not supposed to be <laughs> making life ending sacrifices. Ship and all go down together. Like, apparently, oh, no, the only person who's not allowed to do that is Yuna. Everyone else is. It doesn't matter. Everyone just kills Kamari himself just fucking sacrifices. Shouts, dude. And it's uh, Sid at the end grabs Yuna. You're not allowed to do this. Yeah. I don't uh, care that your friends all jumped off the bridge first. Get over here, Yuna. It's just he's just like Debbie Dad. Oh man. <laughs> he's pretty much that's who he is. You're not allowed to go to the dance, Yuna. Ugh, kids. I'm your uncle. When your mother died, she told me you pray take care of Yuna, and if you don't, well then I'm gonna come back from the dead and haunt you forever, so And of course he would hate that because the mother was this nagged him all the time, right? She was the older sibling. But I, I, you know what? I don't know the uh, the history of that of that family. If I'm being completely honest. I mean, Sid is slowly turning into my dad, and if it's like the my dad's of life, that is how it is. My dad has one older sister, and I swear to God, my dad is like, like Sid. Like I got to be in control of every. You know what I mean? And then when when she shows up, it changes entirely. Like she be, like she like just yells like you know what I mean? Do this, do this. My dad just listens, and for the rest of us, we just sit there and start laughing and smiling. Like that's what I'm like, oh, finally. Feel. Yeah, take yes. that, Dave. Because he only recognizes seniority or something, right? Because it's just some weird old school. Yeah. Yeah. Redneck Albertan Sid. Is, do you think that Sid is basically not, your my dad? My dad's not a redneck Albertan, so that doesn't really make sense. He's new. Fucking both. He's a yeah, hybrid. No, he's... 
He's he the, isn't. He, my dad he, wasn't he, born in Alberta. I'm the no. only one in my family. Well, my mom was. I guess, yeah, but Alberta, like, but. that's a cultural uh, thing. It's not a. No, there's a. Yeah, oh, my okay. dad's more of a newfie than he is in Alberta. My dad's a newfie. Whoa, that's huge! Thanks, Sonic. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a Sonic line. The guardian worm, Evray. <laughs> he said whoa, whoa to begin with too. Protector of Bavel. That sounds cool. We gotta fight that thing. After no, we fight friends. three or four other bosses first. Wait, the red carpet has teeth. To Thanks. Another obvious we're statement from Steve. Of course we are! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! Go, go, go! There he goes again! The ferryman asks a high price. Orin, we don't need all these... <laughs> Shit, the ferryman's <laughs> shaped song. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It Orin? has begun! Open the hatch. We fight. Let's do it. We're gonna fight on this plane, this thing. Be well prepared. <laughs> Got any weapons? Yeah, we forgot to bring weapons. Uh, you are going to need to give them to us. And, the, and he's just sitting here. He's just like, well, you know, I could. We, we would all pay? die if you guys don't succeed. I could just if give you lose, all these items for free, but no, too, I'm gonna take a price. I have faith in you. That's what the, the Waka literally just called out on that shit. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Waka getting woke here. Woke woken, Waka time. Woken Waka Hardy. Oh god, no, not woken. Just woke. Alright, let's go fuck this dude up. Here we go. Five rounds in the Final Fantasy Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the sky! We have a beast! That's got a long neck like a giraffe. It's, it's like a dragon. It's the beast incarnate. Okay. Yes, it's Brock. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name Fighting is Sid Hayman. The ship. A group of party members, all of whom are not voice. really consequential. We can't let her get too far away. Y'all have to tell me when to move. And on the megaphone, Jimmy Sid, Sid Smith. Jimmy, Jimmy Hart. Yeah. So um, yeah, this Sid, pretty much this battle's pretty great. Because we're fighting as we fly through the sky, which is rad as shit. Quick, huh? This rig ain't so nimble, you hear? Yeah, even though mechanically there is. I'll give the commands. Visually. I'm in charge! You no, you're not! <laughs> so, uh, also, this. Also, like, I'm gonna just throw this out here. Play. I feel yeah. like some of these characters should be wearing more clothes right now, because you're on top of a flying thing in the sky. It would be really cold. Yeah. So, this. Do you notice, uh, you look at that turn order, do you see any characters you don't recognize? Um. We got Not Kamari. Yep. We got some guy there that looks like Sid. That's Sid. Yep. Um, and we got Oron, and we got Lulu, and we got Boss, and then we got Kamari. Yeah. So What's Sid. Up, yeah. There's a maneuvering the airship. Ship. Yeah. Okay. Use the trigger commands to move in and pull back. Uh, to okay, adjust the distance between the airship and every. Yeah. Because because reasons. Oh, I, I don't know why nobody else can do it. Wouldn't Sid be able to give the order? No, Sid can't see. He needs to be told when to like, oh, what to do. He's like, I don't know how where the fuck that thing is, so I'm gonna tell him. Go We're back. gonna pull the Far fuck away. back. Just a minute. That's like pull that wastes out. a turn though. It wastes Sid's turn. This, this Oh, it wastes Sid's turn. Yeah, I guess it does waste Steve's turn, but now this thing isn't gonna hit us from that far away. See, that just seems really weird, though, because up until now, you, the player, are given the perspective of every party member in combat. And now it's like, but except for Sid. Well, Sid's not really in the party. Sid's like our friend. Also, I let's know, take a moment but... to appreciate... Throw a blitz what ball. Range? And it comes back! Of course it does. Boy. Uh, also, do, do, I'm only going to hit do, him do, with do. her once, because uh, he takes half damage from magic, so Lulu's basically shit tier. She's useless here. Yeah. However, like Steve uh, shouldn't be able to attack him from here with his sword. Steve can't. Like if I try to attack basic attacks out of range. Out of range, okay. Yeah. Which is why I have this group out right now. Uh, but I just. Uh... Oh yeah, he hits you with this shit from far away. Cloak dog spray. Well, I didn't see this guy's name. You should see it. So ancient Belville beast, or but Bella, not Belville. That's uh, Evra. 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 Yeah. Bill, yeah. Bill, well, yeah. It's not the, it's not so, the uh, Belleville poutine Belleville place. Where Chris is from. In this Ontario. Is, I'm hitting it with all we got. So this is why I wanted to pull back. Yeah, I did missiles. I mean, it, it, okay, listen. If, if you want to tell me that this blows up an entire city, 
I know, this right? totally kill that thing. Yeah, well, we got two more salvos, so we're good. I think we used all of our good missiles already with the issue. We gotta use that WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction. You give everyone some luck. Yeah, that'll help us in this fight. Hell yeah, dude. I, you, you just all leave? We hit jackpot! Yay! We all win! Dude, 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 well, at least it'll give you more money to buy shit from what's his name, even though he could have just given it to you. Yes. Dude, Thanks, Rand. See, that's why I don't I don't like it when merchants are part of the, like, friends with you, you know what I mean? It's better if the merchants, like, like, Metal Gear Solid gets it right with, uh, what's his name? Driven? Yes. Uh, also, I know you have played it, we talked about it in one of the channels before, but also the stranger from, uh, Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Like, like if um, they're not allies, they just show up out everywhere, and then it's just you could totally understand the justification because then it's well, just that's, like that's they're just Rin, showing though. up trying to make money off you. They don't really care if you live or die. Yeah, that's Rin though. Like his whole meme was that yeah, he, his uh, is well, he, Rin, he's a Rin, businessman Rin. first. Right now, he's just also like yo. He had to escape in a situation. From yeah, but but here's a situation where with this battle specifically. You winning is in your guided interest, both your interests, because if you yes. lose, he's dead. But he has faith in so your victory. So it doesn't make not. any sense for him to charge in this situation, is what we're no, saying. No, but he has faith in our victory. That's they. To be fair, they addressed that in the plot. Okay, I, of course they did. I'm just saying that I think it's better in con uh, plot purposes. When oh, the we merchant can't throw that bad. far. I'm saying I think it's better when the merchant. Like, I, I'd be better if he was a teleporter. If he could just leave. I think that would be better for the plot, is what I'm saying. Because then he'd be like, oh, I'm here to sell you something. And you're just like, oh, how did you get here? Aren't you worried about being dead? And then he just blinks away. And you're like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Smoke like, bomb? He should be, like Virgin should be a little bit of an asshole, is what I'm saying. Because I, I feel that's better for the plot. He's a little bit of an asshole. He's the guy who... A little bit. He's kind of too money. friendly. He's I like it. Too well, he's, he's a good businessman, right? Like, I, I feel like he... I feel like... I, I, again, I feel like Metal Gear Solid and Resident Evil 4 did do the best example. So I'm talking about it. That was the last of my missiles, so I'm going to move in close again for the rest of the fight. It's you just, just, you it's just free expunge damage. all these missiles on him? Barely does anything. Yeah, pretty much. I did damage, I suppose. And then you can have it cancel. If you so I like this creature. Uh, the only thing I dislike about it, I really like its body. I think it has cool legs and a cool head. Yeah. Um, I'm not as particular on the hands. The hands look a little too insect to me, you know what I mean? Like these little, yeah. more like... Well, he's the guardian worm, like yeah, with a Y. Yeah, so, like, yeah. That's I, I kind just of don't what like they're going them. for, but yeah. I yeah. I feel, like, I feel like longer arms or no arms at all would have been better. I, I Yeah, I like... Well, if no arms would have been more of like a wyvern, though, right? Yeah, I just think that would have looked cooler. I just... For some reason, though, the, the way it holds its hands makes me think it's about to, like... Like, eat dinner. Like, just like, I'm gonna pick up this chicken. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just weird. Yeah. Well, Hi! I mean, he could eat what's us. for dinner today, kids? Like, yeah. Yo, so is mine. mine! Yes. the water gem, dick. Stone gaze. Gonna... Like, it's almost got full a full hand, you know what I mean? Like, jeez. Like, this thing could open a door. Creatures like that should not be able to open doors. <laughs> I mean, they could break them, like, you know what I mean? They could go He's through them, but, like, turn a handle. A door. No, <laughs> a big door. <laughs> he'd, fit, he'd fit through doors in this universe. Oh, wait, that oh absolutely. Universe. Sorry, in, in anime universes. In the anime Oh, okay. The, so this is important. He just sucked in a bunch you know, of like air. The -verse. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back. Father, go far. I think. In a sec. In I like its wings though. Its wings. Its wings are also a little insect though. Like, like a fly or something. Yeah. Like, you know, like the with the webbing on them almost. It's like cl like cl clear, translucent. Oh, perfect. This is enough time for Steve to. Uh... Speed. Haste it up. Yeah. Shit. You know what haste means? It means you can totally s attack the turn you uh, you were cast at him. No summoning signal. Oh, sorry. Using. Magic slash Hearthstone slash, you know. Yeah. So CCG that would have. If we were close, that would have hit us, obviously, right? Yep. Sasad, we are moving in. Okay. Just gonna wait until Sid lets us do things. <laughs> So yeah, I like this fight a lot. Like, obviously, there's a bit of a gimmick to it that's kind of 
enjoyable, but also, uh... I feel like most of the boss fights have some gimmicks. Yeah, to an extent. It just, like, it's cool, The, right? the like, only part of the reason that, uh, uh, uh up until now, I, I haven't found too many of the bosses super memorable, some of them have been, is not, not necessarily because I think the bosses on their own are memorable, it's mostly because they they pace them together so much that they bleed in, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to... Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of a reason I, I felt like these older games were, like, traditionally, like, PS1 era Final Fantasy games, even though they have a lot of grinding, I feel like that grinding is... Like, if you replace, all, like, if you replace 60 hours of grinding with 40 hours of meaningful content, if too much of that meaningful content is meaningful in the same way, it becomes the grind. Because at a certain point, it ble you know what I mean? That that yeah. I idea of meaning bleeds into itself. And it's like, that that's part of the reason why RPGs have gotten shorter in length, like 50 hours, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, it turns out that if you do one activity repeatedly over and over again, you become numb to it. Yeah, a little bit. To a degree. But obviously, like, the varieties of the boss battles. Like, I'm not saying that I don't think they do a good job with the, some of the gimmicks, I, and, and I haven't enjoyed some of the boss battles. I just I just think that there's a, some some pacing problems with some of them in the game thus far. Not all of them, either. This, one, this one's been good. Like, like, mostly because, like, we haven't done a boss battle in a little bit until this one. Yeah. But, like, if this falls with three more boss battles, part of me, if one of those... I forget which one of those is in, in the recap, you know what I mean? Like, You're not allowed to forget. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use a different weapon for now because. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, more water gems. I also uh, think that Steven interestingly enough, is. this out of all the summons that we've encountered or monsters that we've encountered, uh, this one reminds me of the Guado the most. You know, with the long claw fingernails and the the way it, 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 it kind of looks reptilian in nature, if you will. Oh shit. <laughs> Because the Guados have a little bit of a reptilian vibe going on. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're taking a hit here. Oh, wait, maybe not. I have an idea. Pull back. Because Sid doesn't have a turn until after the boss goes. Or does he? Slow him down, yeah, yeah, slow him down. He actually might still have a... I think he still might go before Sid does. Okay, he is still going before Sid does. I'll just have everyone defend. Can you slow him okay, again? Is... Nope. It's just like, it's a status, like, you will have less turns, uh, but uh, I'm gonna yeah, get a You're also gonna get poisoned, yeah, you're gonna get poisoned. Luckily... <laughs> oh, wow. He did poison any of you. Oh, no, he, no, he did. Everyone's yeah. poisoned. And yeah, took a I lot of damage. Fresh. Look at that health bar. I just, I, I, it's weird, because it's like, it doesn't, sh does, does it show on your health bar anywhere? Like, I obviously see the little bubbles above their head, but... It'd be nice if they showed the status on the health, you know what I mean? Like, in brackets, poison, PSMD, or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, they do if you, like, when you bring over items over them. Like, everyone's poisoned. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. That's easy. Okay, so when they bring over the items, it changes the menu. That's good. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a, a cure-all? I do, but it's Riku's the one who can use it, so this is a little bit unfortunate. I'm going to just heal Orin because he's not going to get a full heal. Uh, Riku, anyway. Riku will get a turn at some point here, won't you? Yeah. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Uh, Steve's dead. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think he was going to take 400 damage from poison. Oh yeah, at the end you take in this one you take poison damage at the end of turns, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you cured oh, so literally you were one turn away from being able to do that. Also, uh, yeah. I guess you have to Phoenix. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll bet first and then Phoenix, because I'm assuming Steve doesn't resurrect poison. Uh, no, and also Riku would have died to <laughs> using the ability otherwise. Oh yeah, if you Phoenix down him, you would have had to, with her, you would have had to then Phoenix down her. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which would have been dumb. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Please Moving back in. Yep. Whoa! Sid, yeah. you calm down. Sid, yeah. Sid literally is. When you were talking about him being a redneck Albert, you were not kidding. I No, I'm... I didn't make the connection before, obviously, but yeah, that's that's a thing. Like Sid's riding the bull right now. He's like, woo! Yeah, bud, get her done. He wants you to get her done, bud. Except he doesn't want Yuna to get her done. Well, no, of course not. Okay. Yuna's so, only allowed to go to her room, don't you know? Yeah. So this thing casts haste on itself, and it will auto cast haste anytime you hit it with slow. So uh, you just kind of have to great. deal with so, it having haste. So now, now slow is pretty much useless, and it gets lots of turns. Yeah, but we also get lots of turns because we have haste. However, when he petrifies somebody, petrified. they lose the haste. Yeah. Like, Riku has lost haste status. 
until you uh, resuppen it, yeah. Or sorry, re uh, re, re up it, yeah. cast it. So real quick, I need it. to see if that will give. Yeah, Riku gets another turn here if I do this, so that'll let her heal Steve. This is like kind of the point in the game where like the battles start being a little bit less throwaway, and it's kind of easier to die. I know I say this having died twice in that one. You have been but died was... already, yeah. Yeah. You also didn't die on a boss. You died on the big show though. You just one punched you several <laughs> times. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're not going again before. Uh, you have three turns. Maybe. No, but before Sid doesn't get a turn, we're gonna get hit with the poison oh. thing again. Oh man. Check out. You gotta you gotta work out your meta game here. Well, there, I didn't have any way ha. of knowing when his attack was coming in because he has haste. You're supposed to get like kind of be able to get hit. Well, I mean, you would have if you knew what cable the future held. Like, jeez. Get your You're right. You know what, out. Ryan? My fucking bad. Where's the crystal ball at? Dude, too busy, busy sucking. Too. Yeah. You're too busy literally casting heal every turn. Heal haste, heal haste. The double H combo. You need another H ability in there so you can triple H it. And then you'll win the fight because, you know, you will bury him. Heal haste. Even though you're in the sky. Hit him. There you go. Heal haste, hit him. Hunter, hunt, <laughs> Hunter haste, hit him. Hit him. <laughs> Hunter Haste hit, hit him sleep. Yeah. Heal Haste hit him Fuck sleep. you! And fuck you! Man, that just reminds me of a great line from Silicon Valley recently. Fuck you! I don't care about spoiling that because this will come out ages after probably the episode aired because this was last Sunday. Okay, thanks, um, Dick. Have you seen much Silicon Valley? <laughs> no, before? I haven't watched any of it yet, but I want to. So do you remember... You've seen The Office, right? Of course. So do you remember the guy that comes in and works for HR? Not, um, not, uh... Not Toby? Not Toby, but the, the newer guy who's like... Dates Aaron for a little bit. Really skinny. Oh, Gabe. Uh, blah, Gabe. So his name is Jared in Silicon Valley, and he's like a similar character. He's like neurotic. Yeah, he wasn't nervous, HR, though. Like he had that. like a slightly different role. Oh, sorry. I thought he ended up being HR, but, um... He, he, but he was... So, oh, no, he, he was like... Exec to the... Yeah, exact yeah, to the Yeah, but he didn't the, have the any actual lady. power. Like, she, yeah. yeah. He he's kind of got a similar role in he's less like a CEO type role in uh, in of their startup in Silicon Valley. Anyway, um, he they did an interview on TV and it ran, his version went really well. So then, uh, uh, what's his name from you, you know him on Twitter? Um, the I, I always forget his name. Kimal, you know you know Kimal uh, Nanjiani, I, my boy. Yeah, I'm ter I'm terrible at say, pronouncing his name, but yes, he's a, yeah, a, a Kumail great actor. And, uh, he's fantastic. He's, uh, on Twitter too, he's pretty great. But uh, anyway, um, he he convinces him that oh now after you've done this, you need to watch your performance on camera to, to nail what you did good, right? So of course Jared then gets obsessed with it, right? And then goes crazy. Anyway, he injects him. He decides to inject his face with like collagen to like poof it up, right? And of course they then do a great bit where everybody reacts to seeing him for the first time with his face is all fucked up. And Gilfoyle, who's uh, played by. Martin Starr, which I'm sure... He I know Martin Starr. He's a teacher. Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's got a great character in it. He's, he's basically conspiracy... He's basically Fuck me. You. In, uh, he's basically hardcore coder version of me. That's his character in uh, in Silicon Valley to a degree. Anyway, um, that what you just said, that was literally... He looks at Jared, turns around, and he just says, Fuck you, twice. It's one of the funniest oh. moments of all time. Like, just stunned. He's just like, Fuck you. Fuck, yeah. fuck. And then he has to take a double take and then, Fuck you. Like, just... Oh, it's great. So, I want to... Uh, like we're gonna end up in a bit of a cutscene and then more stuff, but it's we've been going for forty minutes, so I want to call this episode here. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do one more today, but uh, we need to. Uh, there's some shit that's gonna be happening okay. in uh, in a few minutes. That's fair. So yeah, this is this is we'll, the best. We'll leave this point pause for, the... for a second too, because I need to take a breather before we record the next one. But yes, yeah. that's, but thanks for joining us, everybody. Yes, and we will see you guys. And... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Fuck you! Fuck you!